Hello, my name's Colette. We're here today to start our journey, the Fool's Journey, with the first tarot card of the Major Arcana. Please refer to the original video um, that is Practical Tarot and Introduction for the background to the Major Arcana and the Fool's Journey, because with each card, we're simply just doing the card. Now, today we're starting with card zero, the Fool. The Fool is part of the major arcana but he's he's also a bit separate from it because it's his journey and he's card zero he has no real form as such and the fool's journey starts when the spirit or the soul comes into the body and that body then goes on a journey which takes in the 21 cards the other 21 cards of the major arcana uh, they're like little doors he has to go through to learn life lessons about. And we'll be doing it in a very practical way, but understand that the, the major arcana of the tarot sees life as a cycle. And the fool starts his journey and then goes full circle and ends his journey and goes back up. And then that means it can be reincarnated time and time again with that sort of soul knowledge. But when people are coming for readings, they're not wanting to really know about um, that soul journey, etc. Most people are wanting practical advice. So this is the fool card. He's standing at the edge of the cliff. He's got his little dog behind him. And basically, he's sitting out on a journey. He doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't really care where he's going. It's just his instinct that's taking him forward on the journey. Um, he's not really aware of any dangers yet. He's, he's not really got the intellect to understand about those dangers. So basically, he's going off on this journey. So what does that mean to us in practical terms? You know, what does that mean when the full card comes out in front of you and someone's wanting to answer a question? Well, remember, you can sense the meaning of the card, but it's also important to realise that the full will come out as part of a spread and there'll be other cards round about it to help guide you as to what this archetype or symbol um, is about. So when the full comes out, it really represents a sense of new beginnings, fresh starts, going on a journey, exploring, but doing it with the background instinct. Maybe if you could think of the fool as a little baby, um, you know, the, the souls come into the baby's body, uh, but the baby is just... It's just finding himself. He, sometimes he'll cry because he's got a wee pain in his tummy. And then when he cries, someone will feed him. And then he's got that knowledge. Oh, if I cry, someone will feed me. And it's the same as he gets a wee bit older and he maybe wants a ball. Uh, and he takes that first step towards the ball. It, it was the journey that made him do that. He wasn't consciously thinking, I will move this muscle in my leg. I will move my leg towards that just went on instinct and it's the same uh, as a, a toddler that goes to a fire and maybe touches the fire and then he realises oh that hurt me I won't do that again if he is a foolish fool then he will he'll keep going back to the fire and touching it but that's just part of the fool card but mainly if you can understand it's about taking a chance new beginnings moving forward with optimism i mean if you look at the fool he's it's heads up he's, he's going forward the sun's behind him he's right at the edge of the cliff you know so he's either gonna just go over that cliff or he's gonna walk along the edge you know i uh, can do a buzz light year and uh, fall with fall with grace or fall with style and that's partly the fool um if you want to think of buzz light year just launching himself because he believes that he can do it. And if you can believe he can do it, then you can do it as far as Buzz is concerned. And the feels a wee bit like that, to be honest. But let's take it into practical terms. Say someone's asking me about a health issue and it's out with, you know, reasonably positive health cards. Then the feel would be about enjoying a positive attitude to health, maybe trying a new treatment going forward with a new way of thinking and openness about learning about a condition and maybe working with it. If it had negative cards round about it, it could maybe show someone who has been slightly foolish and brought on some of their own illnesses with some of the practices they've done. And that can be a good way of helping someone as well to understand that with them. But generally, it's a good card. Uh, in career, um, it's about, you know, just taking that jump, that leap of faith into the job they want, the career you want. Um, 
in many years of working for self-employed business people, um, I've found that there's the full card come out time and time again. So I actually use it as my card of self-employment. Uh, and that's not because these entrepreneurs, these people that move forward with things, take things forward. Uh, it's not because they're naive or silly in any way. No, it's just they're walking their own talk. They're doing it for themselves, for no one else. So I see it as a card of self-employment on new beginnings. Um, if it's out in a love spread with positive cards, wonderful. It's about just, just going for it, you know, feel it and go for it. And if it feels good, do it. But if there's some negative cards round about it, then it might be that the person has been a wee bit too naive about the journey and they're not really aware of any risks. Doesn't mean they won't do the, the journey, but... It can be a wise thing to, you know, advise on. And then spiritually, it's the start. It's the start of where you want to go with it. And it's absolutely wonderful. Finances, again, it can mean that there's a person can maybe even make money out of their uh, sort of entrepreneurship. It can mean they're a bit naive with money as well. But all these things come with knowing and understanding this card. So I want you to look at it. I want you to see what you feel on it. And then once we've walked our way through the whole of the tarot, you'll find that I'll give you ideas of what other minor arcana cards mean connected with the fool that will help you judge what the person needs to know. But for the moment, the fool is starting us on our journey. He's got 21 other doors to go through or archetypes or symbolism of all life to meet. And that's where we're going with them. So let's be the fool. Let's step into it with joy, uh, enjoying the journey, looking forward to it. I mean, there might be some ups and downs. There might be some things you don't get, but we're just doing it anyway. And that's the point of the fool. His instinct to say, we're going to do it anyway. Many blessings.